Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Everything is Fine, episode 64 to 65. Due to Webtoon's policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode, especially if it's for YouTube, uh, especially since this is a horror read and it does get graphic, I will have to blur it completely, okay? So with that being said, if you guys do want to support me, I do have all these reads on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash cktchaotic. Here you guys gain early access and not have to deal with the censorship, especially for the graphical part. So, and foul language. Let's go ahead and get started. Warning, this episode contains disturbing content and imagery. She's right, Maggie. Huh? Who said that? Oh my god. It's you. Gina. She's right. With us freaks out here. What is she? You better watch your back. Gina. We can talk this out. Put the gun down. I will, in a second. I just want to know what I'm dealing with here. So these are the famous rebels. I took a look at the ones in the gift shop too. I followed you here to see what joining, but they all seem like a bunch of dorks, to be honest. I, they're... Hi, Gina. My name is Judy. Welcome to our home. Hi. You're a cautious person, aren't you? Well, duh. I'm a cautious person too. Hmm, <laughs> can't be that cautious. You really should watch your backs. Anyone could have been following. <laughs> You're right, we should. I bet you heard our whole plan, right? Enough of it. So then, you know we're trying to save the world. Nobody's gonna save the world. This isn't a movie. No? People have saved it before. This isn't the first time the world has felt the boot hill of fascism. And you know what beats fascism every time? Rebellion. Resistance. Normal people hiding out in rain-soaked tents in the woods. Waiting. Planning. Biding their time. And every single time it seems like it won't work. Every single time it seems like this is the last and there's no hope for tomorrow. And every single time, normal people like you and me call on that and pick up swords. And then we die. We die in our millions. It'll seem like we'll die for no reason. But everyone who dies fighting leaves just the tiniest crack in their facade. And eventually, those cracks add up. And then, all at once, the whole thing shatters. <sighs> Listen, Gina, I can tell you're capable. I can tell there's a fire in your belly. And to be honest, Maggie here has already told me a lot about you. Says you're a move maker. You don't mind the taste of blood, right, Maggie? It's true, Gina. Judy had, was asking if I knew people who could go the distance. You know that business in the ranger station wasn't me. It was all Sam. I do know that, yeah. You, you were really vouching for me? She was. She just wasn't sure if you were down for the cause. The cause. This is real? You think I can help? The question isn't uh, if I think you can, Gina. Do you think you can? Thank you, Judy. I, I never thought I'd find friends again. We're more than friends here, Gina. We're family. And that's a beautiful thing. With family, you don't need to watch your back. Your family will watch it for you. Now, please, don't. 
I kind of knew that was coming. <laughs> but wow, they did not hesitate. Please, hold. Fiona. I, I, I'm sorry about that, Maggie. I know you really were friends. It's just that, with the gun and everything, I understand. You do? Yeah. We, we can't have someone that volatile. Exactly. <clears throat> Phew, yeah. Deep breaths. <sighs> okay, so where do you put bodies? <laughs> Maggie, I think this is the start of something beautiful. Oh my gosh. I definitely will have to censor this on YouTube because my, oh my. <laughs> Whew. I mean, yeah, of course, if you pull a gun out on someone, they're not gonna be like, we want to recruit you. Like, you know, like you are too impulsive. You're someone who just like will turn your back on anyone. So they would not want to recruit someone who's that impulsive, volatile, you know? So I kind of knew like, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to try to bait her and caught, caught her off guard, caught, catch her off guard. Whew, that scene was good. It was really good. Is that what she's saying? Hey, Sam, how are you doing? Huh? Pretty shitty. You? Pretty shitty. Where did you go after our fight? I can't say. Are you gonna leave me? What? No, Sam, of course not. I'm sorry I talked like that. We... we just need to figure this out. Can we go out on the boat? There's nothing to talk about. Of course there is. We can't. There's an emergency trial tomorrow. Chris is gonna get redded. And we're uh, one merit away from getting out of here. So I'm gonna shoot Chris in the head. And then I'm gonna see my baby. You can do whatever you want, but I'm begging you. Please. Just don't get in my way. And I think we could all learn a little something from the unlikely pairing between Hammy the Piglet and the Boa Constrictor. Which is, of course, be careful about trusting people who are different from you. Which brings me to the person you all been waiting for, Mayor Laura! <clears throat> Thank you, Julian. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I'm sure you're all wondering why we've called you here today for the unprecedented emergency trial. The truth is that yesterday, Officer Greg found something, well, unprecedented. Thanks to the tips from some of our valued, re our valued residents, Sam and Maggie, we found solid evidence of rebel activity. <gasps> no, oh my. I know, I know, it's not something we even like to think about. But there are some people out there who don't hold the same value as us. And unfortunately, one of those people is Chris. Oh, monster, rebel scum. Chris, do you have anything to say for yourself? There's a tree by a farm in Nebraska. I'm buried there, and he's buried there, and he's burned there, and we sit and watch the fireflies play with the moon, and we drink hot cocoa. You can't take their, the warmth of their fires from me. 
You just can't. I made it and I'm keeping it. And I don't forgive any of you. <clears throat> All right, on with the vote. I think this should be pretty straightforward, but it is the official procedure. So if you could, please take your phones out. Beep, 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 beep. We need to trace the red signal, so we need a phone with tier two access. So either a police officers, or like a mayor or something. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. I, I'm gonna go get ready. Well, ain't this a nice surprise? Ah, oh, Dave, you scared me. Oh gosh, sorry about that. Last thing I want to do is scare you. After all, fear spoils good meat. Oh my, that guy scares me and I'm the reader, okay? So always stay friendly with the people who are very creepy and scary and potentially could really end you really quickly and swiftly. But also watch your back because man. So with Gina, kind of knew it was coming. She's, she's too much. And I kind of knew her ending was going to come sooner or later. Kind of feel bad for her. Chris, but hey, you know, he ha he does have kids and because now he's going to be gone, his kid's going to be gone too. That's what they say. I don't know if they really do when the parents get in trouble and get redded and if the kids do get affected as well in a negative way or do they be the next generation to be placed in that situation, you know? It's just a lot that I don't know and I can't wait to find out but overall not too terrible with the reads and the graphics i do have the blur here and there and uh beep out some bad words but i think there's only like five sections of bad words and graphics so not too bad all right all right guys if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reading slash reaction to this feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye Whew, that